Welcome to this brief introduction to Apache Hadoop. I'm Cynthia Sirocco from IBM. Let's start with the basics. Hadoop is an open source software project from Apache designed to help programmers process massive volumes of data using clusters of computers. Although Hadoop was originally designed for read-intensive, batch-oriented applications, subsequent enhancements have expanded its use to other application areas. Today, Hadoop has come to mean different things to different people. Quite often, firms that deploy Hadoop use not only the core components identified by Apache, but other software, including related open source projects as well as commercial offerings. Let's spend a minute talking about the core components of Hadoop. These include a distributed file system, the MapReduce programming framework, a collection of utilities, and Yarn, which provides job scheduling and resource management capabilities. And as I mentioned earlier, a rich ecosystem of related open source projects has emerged for Hadoop, including Hive, HBase, Ambari, and many more. While you can download Hadoop and related projects directly from Apache's site, a number of vendors also offer prepackaged Hadoop distributions, some of which have become quite popular. Just be aware that these distributions vary in terms of what open source projects are included. In addition, some commercial distributions include more than just open source technology. Recently, a number of vendors and consumers of Hadoop-based technologies formed a nonprofit group called ODPI. Its mission includes developing a reference specification for the big data ecosystem to promote the simplification and standardization of technologies in this area. I don't have time to cover Hadoop in much detail, so I'll just spend a few minutes focusing on some of its key characteristics. In the Hadoop world, programs are brought to the data, not vice versa. In addition, the Hadoop distributed file system breaks a single file into blocks and automatically distributes these blocks across the cluster. Applications can then process data in parallel. To promote high availability and recovery from certain failures, a given block of data is typically replicated across multiple nodes in a cluster. Finally, the Hadoop distributed file system doesn't require a preset format or schema for stored data. This flexibility appeals to many firms that want to analyze large volumes of various types of information. Before I wrap up, I want to briefly mention Hive and HBase, two open source projects related to Hadoop that are relevant to other videos in this series. Hive is the data warehouse environment for Hadoop. Programmers model their data in traditional tables and query this data using SQL. Behind the scenes, Hive stores the data in HDFS files and uses a catalog to track metadata about the tables, such as the table schema and the HDFS directory containing the table's data. Software libraries known as CERTES, or serializers and deserializers, map records in stored files to rows in Hive tables. HBase is a key value data store for Hadoop that supports real-time random read-write access. Data is modeled in column-oriented tables, and each record consists of a row key and one or more column families, each of which may consist of one or more columns. Data is stored as byte arrays in HBase tables, so programmers don't define columns of traditional data types like integer or string. HBase tables also don't have a fixed schema, making them suitable for managing large volumes of sparse or variable data. For optimal runtime performance, programmers often access HBase data by its row key value. Well, that's all that we have time for today. You'll find a lot of resources online if you want to learn more about Hadoop, and to help you get started, I've listed a few of these here. Thanks for watching.